Hello students, today in this video we will discuss the subject enrichment activity 6 of class 10th mathematics. The objective of this activity is to verify the Pythagoras theorem by the method of paper folding, cutting and pasting. The materials required for this activity are colored paper, scissor, pen or pencil, glue, scale and compass. So let us quickly recall the statement of Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem states that the area of the square on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the areas of the squares on the other two sides as you can see here in the GIF. Now let us start with the procedure. So for step one, cut any right angle triangle and paste it on your practical notebook and consider the sides as 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. You can also take 6, 8 and 10 cm. Right? And then in the next step, cut square of the length of the 3 sides of the triangle. Right? For this side 3 cm, for the next 4 cm and the side of the hypotenuse 5 cm. So we have cut square of side 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm and place them along the respective sides of the right angle triangle. Now what we will do is we will move this small square and place it on the bigger square. Now what about this blue square? For this First of all, you draw a parallel line, right? We have drawn this dotted parallel line. This line is parallel to this side. Okay, this dotted line is parallel to this side. And after this, we will draw the perpendicular bisector of this dotted line. Draw perpendicular bisector of this dotted line. This red line is bisecting this dotted line into two equal parts and also this red line is perpendicular to this dotted line. Now use scissor and cut this blue square and after this we will place these smaller parts in this bigger square. So let us quickly see an illustration that how you will do this activity. So in this green color, this is your right angle triangle. You are supposed to cut square of this side, this side and this side. Right? Now let us see how you are supposed to cut these two squares and arrange on this bigger square on the hypotenuse. I will provide the link of this GeoGebra resource in the description box. Please go through it once. So we have observed that the square and the four quadrilaterals cut from the two squares completely fill this bigger square on the hypotenuse. Thus, our Pythagoras theorem is verified. Thank you for watching this video. Link for the PDF of this activity is in the description box. Keep learning.